Welcome everybody, welcome to Sugar MD channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, by the way, just do it right now. Today we are talking about dates. No, not the romantic ones. We're talking about the dates that you eat, or maybe don't eat, but today you will learn if dates are really that horrible for diabetics. And I'm not gonna give a conclusive answer, but you will understand, you will get what you want after this video. So, let's get started. So guys, the dates, I love it. Do you? I would say so. Let me know what you think, write a comment below, and give me what you think. Just be nice. Sometimes people uh, put like weird comments, and just being nice is always a good idea. So, but guys, the dates are full of sugar. Right? We know that. Uh, but they're delicious. We know that too. Now, should I eat? Should I not eat? Should I eat? Should I not eat? Well, debatable. Let's debate. Now, one date. So around 18 grams of sugar. Carbohydrates, right? So you're going to be like, wow, wow, wow. That's a lot. Uh, well, on the other hand, remember, when you eat fruit, you are getting so many benefits. You're not just getting sugar. So you have to keep your mind open about things. You know, what is the benefit? What is the risk? Nothing in life is 100% beneficial or 100% harmful. So we live in a gray world. In this gray world, you have to choose your more whites than the blacks and you'll be on the good side. With the fruits, guys, especially the dates, there's so much antioxidants in it that negates that uh, that free radical damage that may happen with high blood sugars. Now, one of the primary things that you get with the dates is flavonoids, right? So that is one antioxidant that make you live longer. There is also carotenoids in this uh, in the dates. And what what does it help with? Macular degeneration. Now, you, some of you may have it already. You don't have to have diabetes to have macular degeneration, but that is one of the most common reasons for going blind and if you're eating uh, steak and pork chops every day you're not you're gonna miss out on this one so you see what I'm saying so another one is uh, phenolic acid and that is uh, primarily to prevent heart disease and cancer well think about this what do people die from yeah heart attack and cancer right so that's the two killers so you have to have these antioxidants in your system and it's not going to happen without vegetables and fruits so tell your carnivore friends that enjoy your life for now but eventually you are going to suffer from the consequences from eating those beef and beef and beef every day morning and uh, noon and uh, evening so definitely i think if glycemic load is a little bit on the high side so i'm not saying sit down and eat like three five dates but if you're feeling like oh god i'm hungry you know i don't have anything to eat right now i don't want to i i hate eating these beef jerkies and the cheese i'm tired of it you know what one date will take care of it because there's so much fiber in dates that's not going to necessarily spike your blood sugar and if you're eating one or two dates it's going to give you this nice mellow uh, sweet taste and it's going to spike your blood sugar relatively slowly especially if you add some nuts to it again not nuts can be boring sometimes right like especially if it is non-salted if it is not uh, roasted and stuff like that and when you salt and roast the nuts there's really nothing much left you're basically killing the nuts but if you put those nuts in something delicious like dates oh my god then you have the bomb uh, bomb.com right <laughs> that, that dates that date that you're eating with some nuts uh, could be brazilian nuts macadamia nuts hazelnuts you name it put some nut to it it's going to give you more omega-3s, more antioxidants. It's going to slow the spike of your blood sugar. It's going to give you a prolonged satiety. That is life, my friend. Do that. Again, be in moderation. If you're eating dates, don't eat any other extra fruits and don't go overboard. Don't say, oh, Dr. Ergen said you can eat mangoes. Now let me eat some mangoes on top of the dates. And then he said you can eat that. And, and then you end up with this huge bucket of fruits. No, that's not what I'm saying. You have to control your portion size. You have to make sure that your carbohydrate content overall, your glycemic load is still at a reasonable range. 
And if you're a diabetic that you cannot eat even one date without spiking your blood sugar, then you pretty much have nothing left in your pancreas. So that is not a good place to be. You definitely need to see a diabetes specialist to get your life back unless you want to give up on everything you loved once upon a time that were healthy. So talk to you later, guys. Give a thumbs up. We'll see you in the next video. All right, thank you for watching, and I want you to be more informed and more educated. So to do that, go ahead and watch this next video right here.